A superfood is defined as a food such as salmon, broccoli, or blueberries that is rich in compounds such as antioxidants, fiber, or fatty acids. Considered beneficial to a person's health, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, science says nutrient-dense foods not only make you feel great, but may even reduce your risk of certain chronic health conditions while providing multiple health benefits. It's not hard to get on board with adding more superfoods to your diet. Who doesn't want their food to be super? So in this video, we're going to discuss superfoods and your well-being. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Do you need more strength, more energy, to feel lighter? Then you need to include superfoods in your diet. How can you recognize them? Superfoods can be fruits, vegetables, plants, grains and seeds, or algae and fish. Superfoods are nutritionally dense, providing the majority of the body's nutrients and minerals. However, a majority is far from all. No single food can wholesomely provide for the nutritional requirements of the body. The truth is, there is no one food that will provide all the nutrients you need to survive and flourish. In fact, the U.S. dietary guidelines recommend healthy eating patterns rather than specific foods for best health. That said, there are certain foods you can work into your eating patterns that will give your body the boost it needs to heal faster, stay younger, and feel better. There are no specific criteria to determine what is or what isn't a superfood. However, consuming these foods that are packed with nutrients is definitely a good idea. The key to a healthy diet is consuming a variety of wholesome foods in the right quantities. It's important to note that while superfoods are good for your health and provide many nutrients you need on a daily basis, eating superfoods alone does not contribute to a healthy diet. Eating too much of one type of food can actually be detrimental to your health and prevent you from getting all of the nutrients you need. For this reason, superfoods should be added to a well-balanced diet, not replace one. Berries Berries are small, fleshy fruits that are exceptionally sweet. Their rich colors are an indication of the high level of antioxidants that they contain. Also, berries have a higher fiber content that goes a long way in preventing digestive problems. The anthocyanin pigments, which give them their dazzling blue color, also help lower the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and even Alzheimer's, according to a 2019 study. Other berries contain valuable antioxidants too. Acai berries are grown in Central and South America and are the fruit of the Amazon palm tree. They are high in antioxidants, healthy fats, fiber, B vitamins, magnesium, potassium, and phosphorus, meaning they definitely live up to their superfood designation. Studies have shown that these berries can help suppress and repair oxidative damage and help you maintain normal blood sugar. In fact, a 2018 study shows that strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and even cranberries fight the free radicals in the body that can cause cancer. Berries can also help treat immune disorders and digestive issues, research shows. Avocado Avocados are known to help with everything from reducing cholesterol and alleviating arthritis to lessening the side effects of chemotherapy. Avocado, though rich in meaty in flavor and texture, is a fruit, not a vegetable. It has a ton of fiber, minerals, vitamins, and healthy fats the body needs. Much like olive oil, avocado also has a lot of monounsaturated fats, which reduces inflammation. Not only that, but avocado can reduce the risk of diabetes, metabolic syndrome, certain cancers, and heart disease. It's dense with vitamins E and B6, which aid in red blood cell formation, helping protect body tissues from free radicals, producing glycogen, an energy source for your body, and promoting skin health. It also contains magnesium, which regulates blood pressure and blood sugar. If you're a millennial, you've probably heard just about enough about avocado toast. But this fruit can be added to burgers, eggs, sandwiches, and many other food stables, throughout the day. Avocados can also help your body absorb carotenoids, plant pigments responsible for bright red, yellow, and orange hues found in other fruits and vegetables. Carotenoids are great because they contain high levels of vitamin A, the vitamin linked to reducing your risk of cancer, heart disease, and eye degeneration. Chia seeds Are chia seeds good for you? Is there any truth behind the glowing reputation that they have? Food scientists consider these seeds to be very nutritious. They contain lots of dietary fiber, healthy fats, antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins. These little seeds pack a major nutritional punch. A tablespoon contains 4.5 grams of heart-healthy fats plus 5.5 grams of fiber. It's no surprise that they make a welcome addition to everything from smoothies to make-ahead puddings. Try one of these four recipes, including chia-crusted chicken and avocado chia pudding pops with goji berries. Chia seeds are flat ovular seeds with high fiber content, omega-3, 
and essential antioxidants and minerals. These nutrients may significantly reduce risk factors associated with illnesses such as diabetes and heart disease. Eggs Dig into eggs, yolks, and all. They won't harm your heart. The USDA Dietary Guidelines sees eggs as a healthy source of protein and groups them with meat and poultry. Caroline Kaufman, RD, previously told Self for a story about what people get wrong about cholesterol. Don't stress about dietary cholesterol. Focus on saturated and trans fats. Eggs have been subjected to much debate over the years. On one hand, they offer protein and nutrients for relatively few calories. On the other hand, eggs contain a lot of cholesterol. However, eating foods high in cholesterol has been found to not necessarily negatively impact cholesterol levels in your body. This may be because the response of cholesterol in human blood levels to dietary cholesterol consumption depends on many factors including ethnicity, genetic makeup, hormones, and nutritional status. In fact, most people in optimal health can eat up to 7 eggs a week with no increase in their risk of heart disease, while eggs can be inflammatory for those on the autoimmune spectrum because they contain a variety of bioactive compounds that impact inflammation. They can be a great source of nutrition for those without an allergy or sensitivity to them. Eggs earn their title as a superfood by offering optimal levels of A and B vitamins, choline, selenium, iron, and phosphorus. Eggs can be cooked in a variety of ways, including scrambled, boiled, or poached, and are easily combined with other nutrient-dense foods such as spinach or other leafy green vegetables. Fatty Fish Fish like sardines and salmon have considerable levels of omega-3 fatty acids that reduce the risk of strokes and heart disease. Also, these types of fish contain essential vitamins like riboflavin and vitamin D. Also, fish is an excellent source of minerals like iodine and magnesium. Salmon is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which can help lower your risk of heart disease and stroke. Introducing salmon into your diet can decrease your blood pressure, reduce inflammation, and even boost your mood. This fish is also rich in vitamin D and selenium, which prevent cell damage and benefit your hair, skin, nails, and bones. The American Heart Association recommends eating fish such as salmon at least two times per week. Yogurt The live cultures in yogurt are considered good bacteria. These probiotics help protect the body from more harmful bacteria. If you add yogurt to your routine, watch out for pre-flavored fruit yogurts as those tend to have a lot of added sugar. Buying plain yogurt and adding your own fruit and honey works better. You can also use plain yogurt in place of mayonnaise or sour cream. There's a thinner variety called kefir, which is a fermented milk drink containing protein, calcium, potassium, and B vitamins in addition to the probiotics. Studies show fermented foods with probiotics reduce cholesterol, lower blood pressure, and have anti-inflammatory benefits as well as well-known digestive benefits. Allergic to dairy? Kefir can be made with coconut milk for the lactose intolerant too. With its trifecta of carbs, protein, and fat, Greek yogurt can keep you full and ward off hunger by keeping blood sugar levels steady. Instead of choosing the non-fat kind, go for 2% or one with whole milk. A single cup of phage, total 2% has 1.5 grams of fat and a whopping 23 grams of protein. Try using Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise in chicken or potato salad. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys. Until then, stay safe and be happy.